Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Mami B development that China Harbor Engineering Company is doing and the whole deal that was put in place for them to get the land. Now, a lot of discussion has been had about this development in Miami Bay. What happened was the government of Jamaica, which was the Porsche Simpson Miller PMP at the time, the government in power, gave China Harbor Engineering Company 1,200 acres of land beside the highway that goes from Kingston to Ocherius, including a property at Miami Bay. And this was done as an incentive for them to come into Jamaica and build the highway. Now, a French company had started a highway, but they had stopped it because they weren't able to finish it because of the terrain. We'll do another video as to what happened with that. But the French company stopped it. The highway was sitting down there and the government wanted China Harbor Engineering Company to take over the project. Now, China Harbor Engineering Company is one of the largest construction companies in the world. They build roads all over the world. So China Harbor Engineering Company said the cost to build a highway is going to be very high. We would need a 50-year concession when the normal number of years was 30 because it's going to take longer for us to make back the money and also give us this land and we'll build the highway. So the government agreed and the highway was built and they were given the land. But the land had a conduct, giving them the land had a condition. It said, you must develop the land within 12 years or the land goes back to the government of Jamaica. Now, since the building of that highway, a lot of development is taking place in Miami Bay, right next door to Miami Bay, Draxall. Draxall is actually the fastest growing community in Jamaica. I don't think there is any land available in Draxall anymore or Miami Bay because the area is so developed. If, the, if you see an empty piece of land, it's only because they haven't started the project yet. So, it was a win-win. But now that China Harbor Engineering Company is getting ready to build residential units, I think it's 600 residential units in Miami Bay, on the land that was given to them through this arrangement, a lot of people are against it. There's a lot of discussion against building there. Now remember, when they were given the land, the government said you had to develop it, hotels, apartments, but it was in the agreement. You had to develop the land. And now that the time is running out, because they're close to the 12 years, they want to develop the land now. They've put together a uh, development and they're waiting on NEPA approval. And part of the NEPA approval is to discussed it with people in the area. There is so much opposition. So it's really surprising. China Harbor has to build on the land. They built the highway and got the land. So if this land is so envir environmentally, there are a lot of environmental issues. So if the, why did they give them the land? and say to them, you have to build on it if the land was so important to the environment. Why did they do that? So, guys, what do you think about this? Do you think, well, I mean, do you think the government did the right thing? And bear in mind, China Hub Engineering Company did the project and they have stayed in Jamaica. They have built so many more projects in 
Jamaica. They are the number one contractor for highways in Jamaica. They have built so many roads, buildings. They have opened up Jamaica to foreign investors. A lot of foreign, con a lot of other contractors, I should say. And investors as well, because so many hotels are being built on the north coast. The northern coastal highway is going to be expanded. It's China Hub Engineering Company. So I think it was a great deal. The government did the right thing to get them here because they are, they have literally changed the land, how you construct highways in Jamaica. We have first world quality highways now. But my only issue is if this land was so important environmentally, why did the government give them that piece of land and say to them, you must build on it in 12 years or the land goes back to the Jamaican government? So I really am not sure what all of this discussion is really Mami, Mami Bay land now. Because it wasn't, I don't think it was, it was known, the, the arrangement. It wasn't like nobody knew that the arrangement was in place for them to get the land. It was announced. There were many investigations, many discussions. So guys, let us know what you think about this development with the land in Miami Bay. We are actually driving on Spanish Town Road today and the video started with us driving on Washington Boulevard. Alright guys, thanks for taking the tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.